Now we've seen the formula for the average rate of change of a function between two points A and B is f of B minus f of A over B minus A. We're going to write a different version of this formula uh, which is very useful as we move on into uh, calculus. So let's take our function f of x. I have two points. At the point x I'm starting at and I'm going to move up amount h. We call that a step size h. So this if I'm going to move up an amount h from x, this new x value is going to be x plus h. And so I want the slope of that secant line that joins x to x plus h. Just like we did if this were a and b. So remember that's the change in y, that slope is a change in y over change in x. So let's see what these are. The change in y, well, my x values are x and x plus h. And so what are y values do they correspond to? Well, if I have x plus h, that corresponds to a y value of f of x plus h. Remember, the function value gives you the y value. And at x, my y value is f of x. And so I want the change in y over the change in x. Well, the change in y is the difference of these two y values, f of x plus h minus f of x. And the change in x is the difference in these two x values. Well, we can see x plus h minus x is just going to give you h, because that's the difference. That's that distance here. And so, this formula here is the average rate of change of the function between x and x plus h. Okay, suppose we uh, want to find the average rate of change of the function f of x equals x squared plus 2x between x and x plus h. Now this is the same as if you were asked to find the slope of the secant line. The slope of the secant line and average rate of change are the same thing. So remember we're going to use our formula f of x plus h minus f of x over h. And you're not given any particular number, we're just going to find a general formula for the slope of that line or the average rate of change for this function. So you have to get used to that idea. We're not looking for a number, we're actually looking for another expression that gives us that average rate of change for any x value and step size we would want to plug in. Okay, so let's do this. f of x plus h. First of all, what's that going to be? Well, that means plug in x plus h into my function here for x. So we'll have x plus h squared plus 2 times x plus h. That's any way there was an x, I plug in an x plus h. Uh, let's simplify that. x plus h squared plus 2 times x plus h, well that's going to be falling out x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 2x plus 2h. That's f of x plus h. f of x, well, what was f of x? f of x was x squared plus 2x. We have to subtract them. We have to subtract them. We're going to take this minus this. Okay, so putting that together, this minus this, what we're going to have is this here, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 2x plus 2h minus x squared minus x squared minus 2x. Remember, you're subtracting the entire thing. You have to distribute the negative in the second term as well. Once you get that, some neat things happen here. x squareds and x squares cancel because x squared minus x squared is 0. And 2x minus 2x cancel because 2x minus 2x is 0. So what you're left with is 2xh plus h squared plus 2h. So let's write that. And remember, we haven't divided by h yet. We still have to divide by h. So I'm going to erase this and put this term here and then divide by h. So we have 2xh plus h squared plus 2h all divided by h. And so an h can factor out from the top here. So we have an h, we factor out an h, and we get 2x plus h plus 2. We factor out an h, divided by h, 
Notice this h will cancel with this h. And so what we end up with is 2x plus h plus 2. And that's the average rate of change of f of x between x, uh, between x and x plus h uh, for this function, x squared plus 2x. My average rate of change is 2x plus h plus 2.